Hey, welcome back. In this video, we want to solve this second order differential equation using the variation of parameters method. And what I've done is I've just written it up here. Basically, when we use the variation of parameters method, all we're doing is finding a particular solution by using this expression here. Um, y1 and y2 are a fundamental solution set to the original differential equation that we're going to find here first up. And then uh, g here is just g of t. It is the right-hand side. In this case, it is 2e to the 4t. Um, if you do have uh, a g of t for a second-order differential equation that has this form of a constant times an exponential, I don't actually recommend using the variation of parameters. I do recommend that you check out the video that I did on undetermined coefficients. It's a much faster and cleaner method. Um, but regardless, you can still use the variation of parameters. And so um, I just needed an example problem to work through. So we're going to do this one with this method anyways. And the last thing that we have in here is the W that is the Wronskian. And it is actually the Wronskian of Y1 and Y2. So once we find those, we'll be able to um, basically plug everything in, crunch through these integrations, and then find the particular solution. So to get started, we want to write the homogeneous equation that is associated with the original differential equation. So that is just y double prime plus 2y prime minus 8y, and that is all equal to 0. That's all we do. We just set it equal to 0. And then what we can do is we can write the characteristic equation for this homogeneous version. And that's just going to be r squared plus 2r minus 8 equal to 0. So if we just clean this up a little bit, we can see that this is r plus 4 times r minus, maybe let's make that an r minus 2, and that gives us 0. So we see that we have root 1 is going to be equal to positive 2, and root 2 is going to be equal to negative 4. So therefore, the general solution to the homogeneous differential equation, which is also the complementary solution to the original differential equation, we can write it is yc of t is equal to c1e to the 2t plus c2e to the negative 4t. And it has this form specifically because it has two real distinct roots. And uh, more on this form, basically we can also rewrite this as C1Y1 plus C2Y2. So we can pick out here that Y1 is equal to E to the 2T, and Y2 is equal to E to the negative 4T. All right, so we've got Y1 and Y2 now. Uh, we also need the Wronskian, um, and to get the Wronskian, we need the derivatives of each of these. So the derivative y1 prime is just going to be equal to 2e to the 2t, and y2 prime is just going to be equal to negative 4e to the negative 4t. Um, the Wronskian of y1 and y2, we write like this, y1, y2, uh, is equal to the determinant when we put these in matrix form actually in this order. So it is, and when we calculate it, we have the top left element times the bottom right element minus the top right element times the bottom left element, and that all simplifies to negative 6e to the negative 2t. So just to be super clear that we know exactly what's what, let's write down what we have for y1, y2, um, g, and W. So y1 was equal to e to the 2t, y2 is uh, e to the negative 4t, g of t is right here, 2e to the 4t, given to us in the problem, and the Wronskian of y1 and y2 is negative 6 e to the negative 2t. So let's plug all of those into the variation of parameters equation. And then we can simplify it a little bit before we perform the integration. So we're going to bring out this negative 2 sixth as negative 1 third. Uh, and then because we started with a negative on the outside, that becomes positive. So we have 1 third e to the 2t times the integral of, and then we can simplify these e's. So we have e to the negative 4t times e to the 4t. So that is e to the 0 uh, divided by e to the negative 2t. We subtract that exponent. So we have 0 minus negative 2. We have e to the positive 2t. e to the 2t dt. And then for the next term, we're going to bring out again this negative 2 sixths. This time it was a positive, so we have to change that. So we have 1 third e to the negative 4t 
times the integral. Uh, we have e to the 2t, e to the 4t, so this is e to the 6t on the top, minus negative 2. So we have e to the 8t dt. All right, so these integrations actually aren't that difficult. We have 1 third e to the 2t times 1 half e to the 2t. Um, after we integrate, uh, we'll actually get a constant here, but it turns out that we these constants kind of drop out along the process. Um, they, they kind of it's, they get lumped in like here with the, the unknown constant c1 and c2 eventually, so we don't actually need to write them in this expression. Um, so we can just ignore that. And then we have minus one third e to the negative four t um, times one eighth e to the eight t. So we get um, basically we just have one sixth e to the four t minus one twenty fourth e to the four t. And so a sixth is just equal to 4 24ths e to the 4t minus 1 24th e to the 4t. So this is 3 24ths e to the 4t and 3 24ths is just 1 8th e to the 4t. So our particular solution, yp of t, is, is just that, it's 1 over 8 e to the 4t. So let's put a little box around that because that is basically the answer, that is the goal. We have found the, the particular solution uh, that we were looking for here using the variation of parameters. And the one other thing that we can do is if you're asked to find the general solution to the original differential equation, we actually have enough information for that now because the general solution y of t is just equal to the complementary solution, yc of t. Let's write it like this, yc of t, uh, plus the particular solution, yp of t. Um, we have the complementary solution right here. Boom, like that. Uh, that's pretty messy. Maybe I'll just do a little hand-drawn box around it. Complementary solution. And so when we add these two together, we have our general solution, y of t is just equal to c1 e to the 2t plus c2 e to the negative 4t plus 1 8th e to the 4t. And there we go. Let's put a box around this one. <laughs> it crosses through everything else, whatever. Um, but there you go. Uh, complementary solution, particular solution, and general solution. And that was all part of an example on using the variation of parameters.